Hi Steve, uh, it's Tim at Slide Dynamic and I just wanted just to provide a more uh, distinct answer to your comment on the video. Thanks very much for that. Um, so this is our approach to embedding an interactive uh, 3D PDF document actually within a PowerPoint slide and showing that interactive and allowing uh, a presenter to interact with it uh, actually in show mode. Um, so I'm sure there are possibly more elegant approaches to this but uh, this is ours. So I've just created a single folder and I've just got a uh, just an interactive um, 3D PDF that I've just downloaded from the web and I've just created a single PowerPoint slide. So if I just go ahead and open that so this is my first PowerPoint slide and this is my second. Um, so in order to embed this, uh, this interactive PDF, and this works for any PDF, uh, you just go to the Slide Dynamic tab. So the add-in, there are two versions. There's a free version that's unrestricted. And this function is available within the, 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 the light version, if you like. So you just click on the tab and you'll see that there's a number of icons, as you kind of expect. And you'll see here there's an insert PDF. So this works with any PDF, but uh, in this case it's going to be a, a 3D version. So just click that and just go to the folder and there's the PDF. So I'm just going to click that and hit select and it just embeds it as a web object actually within the PowerPoint slide. And obviously you know, we can um, you know, resize it and place it wherever we want within the slide. So now that's all it needs doing. So if I just go into show mode, uh, there's my first slide. And this is my second. Um, so I'm actually within the PowerPoint slide in show mode. Uh, this isn't launching another uh, web browser. It's actually retained within the, the PowerPoint slide itself. So if I want to interact with the 3D model, in this example, it's a, a spindle assembly for a ski. Um, so I can just uh, click on it. And then I can move it. Freely, like, freely rotate it if you like and um, a lot of the CAD and 3D applications in fact Adobe itself supports the embedding of, of 3D content and you can set views so here you can set a bottom view you can set a right view or you can add this kind of um, interactivity um, where let me just bring that closer just go to default view and you can select the various animation functions that are obviously available in it um, to do with what you wish and you can obviously freely rotate it and what have you you can obviously set different colors and you can also go to various views within PDF if you prefer that so if you're doing highly technical uh, things you can obviously do that and um, you can go to the shaded version you can increase and decrease and what have you. So still in PowerPoint mode, haven't gone to any other um, web browser and then I can just end the slideshow. So that is it and I hope that's helpful and answers your question. Thanks very much.